Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the unijunction transistor. So as the name tells here, unijunction transistor is having one junction. If you see the structure of a transistor, the unijunction transistor is having only one junction. Whereas BJT is having two junctions. Bipolar junction transistor, it is having one uh, collector to emitter junction and one base to emitter junction. In unijunction transistor, we will be having only one junction like this. This is P type material, this is N type material. Whereas this is one terminal, this is one terminal, and this is another terminal. These are the three terminals. It is a three terminal device. Like your BJT, if the UJT is also three terminal device, it is UJT, unijunction transistor. Okay, UJT is also having three terminals, but those three terminals are three terminals are there. Those three terminals are one is emitter, and the second terminal is base one, and third terminal is base two. That means it is having one emitter junction. Sorry, it is having one emitter terminal and two base terminals so it is base 2 and this is base 1 base terminals both base terminals are of n type and emitter is of p type so this is the junction junction is nothing but which is occurred between two different materials okay it is n type and it is p type so it is separated by this junction this is a single junction is there okay so unijunction transistor most commonly used as an oscillator unijunction transistor it's like our switching action is there and it is commonly used for oscillator okay it is producing oscillations but uh, the oscillations are like a sawtooth waveform okay so that's why the oscillator made up of this unijunction transistor is commonly known as a sawtooth waveform generator or relaxation oscillator or free ending oscillator okay so that is unijunction transistor circuit um, construction if you see the circuit let us consider a small circuit consider this circuit as that means i am using the ujt in a circuit where two resistors are there that means uh, the internal structure just i am showing like this with respect to resistors and that junction it is the resistance at base 2 and it is the resistance at base 1 we are providing a voltage like vbb as we are applying between two base terminals it is base 1 and it is base 2 vbb is applied between two base terminals so that's why it is vbb and the current flowing through the emitter is ie current flowing through this one is ib2 and the voltage we are measuring across this resistance rb1 naming it as v1 this is the voltage ve from here to ground okay suppose if ie is equal to 0 if ie is equal to 0 when ie becomes 0 if diode is open circuited if junction is break down and it is open circuited then there is no current ie so if ie is equal to 0 the circuit is having the ujt is having only n type material resistance okay that is rb2 and rb1 so which is occurred between vbb and ground and the current we are taking it as some i the current is taken as i and the voltage across this one is v1 from here to ground okay now can you write the expression for this i so if i e is equal to 0 if IE is equal to 0, then what is the current flowing through these two resistors alone? If IE is equal to 0, 
then current flowing through these two resistors I is equal to what is the total voltage appeared VBB by what is the total resistance in that path RB1 plus RB2. So I is equal to VBB by RB1 plus RB2. That is what the expression for the I. Now can you write the V1? What is V1 in terms of these two? So V1 is nothing but and V1 is equal to I into I into resistance. What is that resistance across which we are measuring RB1? So it is I into RB1. Okay, if you substitute what is I, then it is RB1 by RB1 plus RB2 into VBB. Okay, simply voltage division rule. If you know directly, then also you can directly write. So V1 is equal to across which we are measuring RB1. So RB1 by total resistance is RB1 plus RB2. And the voltage in that path is VBB. So VBB into RB1 by RB1 plus RB2. This is the voltage appeared across RB1. Now the factor RB1 by RB1 plus RB2 is the voltage division factor. That factor we are naming it as some eta. So here the voltage division factor RB1 by RB1 plus RB2 is taken as eta is taken as eta it is also known as also known as intrinsic standoff ratio intrinsic standoff ratio so eta is nothing but either we can call it as simply voltage division factor or intrinsic standoff ratio okay so eta is equal to this one but we have to keep this point in mind that when it is ie is equal to zero this is all true when ie is equal to zero so simply we can write vn is equal to see here what is vn v1 is equal to RB1 by RB1 plus RB2 into VBB. So we have assumed now this factor as eta. So eta into VBB. So V1 is equal to eta into VBB. Okay. So we can write from the equivalent circuit. Suppose go to that circuit. Equivalent circuit. See this is the equivalent circuit of the UJT. Consider the equivalent circuit. I will write equivalent circuit of UJT so that you can understand see now if IE uh, what is this IE is flowing this is all we have done when IE is equal to 0 suppose if IE is flowing that means if the junction is switched on that means it is having some sufficient voltage like V gamma and here the voltage is V1 then what is VE the total loop voltage is VE is equal to V gamma plus V1. It is also from here to here plus minus. So if you take this entire loop, the voltage is VE is equal to V gamma plus V1. These terminals are plus and minus. Okay. Uh, so if diode is switched on per V gamma voltage so we can write it as VE is equal to V gamma plus V1 VE is equal to V gamma plus V1 V gamma plus what is V1 eta VBB eta into VBB so eta into VBB. Eta is some factor into VBB. VBB is always like 10 volts or 12 volts. That, depending upon, that depends upon the maximum amplitude we are expecting from the output oscillator. 
so vbb is in terms of tens and this is multiplied by a factor okay then the overall value is very high compared to this v gamma so as vbb is very high compared to v gamma neglect v gamma in the above expression neglect v gamma so then what happens v is equal to now eta vbb v is equal to eta vbb or we can also write v1 is equal to eta vbb and v is equal to eta vbb both are almost similar okay and we can say that the maximum peak amplitude appeared from that voltage as vp let vp be the maximum peak appeared uh, from the oscillator or ujt then we can write it as vp is equal to just substitute ve as vp substitute ve as vp and then ve is equal to vp so vp is equal to v gamma plus eta vbb eta vbb if you want to keep this v gamma you can keep otherwise you can simply neglect this is the maximum peak voltage appeared from the ujt output okay so uh, we can say if ve is less than vp sorry if ve is less than vp the ujt is off if ve is less than vp the ujt is off and if ve is greater than vp the ujt is on the ujt is on okay so you can better understand when we go into the ujt relaxation oscillator uh, circuit diagram uh, before that just let us let me explain what is the circuit diagram and characteristics of this ujt if you see the ujt symbol this is the symbolic representation of ujt with emitter base 2 and base 1 okay most of the students are confusing to draw the or to identify which is ujt and which is bjt okay in ujt the emitter terminal is having some bending in BG, in ujt in unijunction transistor the emitter terminal is having this bend okay and it is having two base terminals base 2 and base 1 okay it is of p type and these two are n type or it is of n type and these two are p type but bjt is different where the emitter and collector terminals are there those two are having bending here and here but there is no bend at the base okay don't confuse and if you see the characteristics characteristics of this one uh, current versus voltage is voltage it is current so initially before the start of ujt operation the current is like this and once it starts initially it is having maximum current and as the voltage increases the current slowly decreases up to certain valley voltage and again starts increasing and gets stabilized the voltage the current at which the current at which it is having low level that voltage is known as valley voltage valley voltage 
okay and the current which is having maximum value that voltage is known as now peak value peak voltage so this is vp what we have considered in the previous slide this is vp and this is value voltage is nothing but vv value voltage is vv it is the lowest level vp is the highest level okay this is about the characteristics of UJT and the symbolic representation of UJT, unijunction transistor. So in the next video, I will explain how UJT is acting as an oscillator by using a circuit. Thank you.